Well, for over a century, Oliver Farm in Pitts, Georgia has been growing traditional Georgia row crops, but now one member of the family is taking the farm in a new direction. The Monitor's Mark Wildman recently visited with Clay Oliver, who is bottling high quality cooking oil from crops grown right on his family's land. In Pitts, Georgia, Clay Oliver and his brother Clint walk and work on the same land that has been in their family for generations. Well, Oliver Farm is a predominantly row crop operation. We grow about 1,500 acres of cotton, peanuts. This year we had corn, we have soybeans, we have cows, so pretty diverse in uh, our field crops. The crops that are grown right off these dusty roads in Wilcox County have supported the family for over 100 years. But now Clay has taken his part of the farm in a new direction by bottling cooking oils pressed from crops grown directly off the farm. We did sunflowers to start with. I grew a crop of sunflowers in 2012 and by the end of the year had produced oil from soybeans, uh, sunflowers, peanuts and pecans that we grew here on the farm. The idea for creating this beautiful bright looking product actually was born during a very dark time on this family farm. In 2008, my daddy passed away, uh, and that threw us into a, you know, a chaotic time. Uh, that's when the economy started faltering and fuel prices just skyrocketed, over $4 a gallon. During that time, there was a lot of talk about alternative fuel sources and you know, biofuels, and that got my gears turning on, you know, hey, is there any way that we can grow fuel here on the farm? And from that, I uh, came across the idea of cold pressing oils and making culinary oils on the farm. And that just, uh, you know, really, you know, that had me hooked. They're making a product from farm to table. Oliver Farm Artesian oils are not just nice to look at, but are of high quality, and their reputation for quality is growing. The oils started out as a product discovered by those at local farmers markets, but has spread to commercial kitchens around the country. Well, we got some really lucky breaks early and through Georgia Organics, put us into contact with one of the top chefs in Atlanta, Stephen Satterfield, and through his network of friends, uh, it's just, you know, exponentially increased the amount of chefs, not just in the southeast, but uh, we shipped to Oregon, to California, uh, sent some to Brooklyn, New York uh, recently. Um, so that the word of mouth of the chefs and their interaction has been tremendous in building confidence that what we have is a great, a gourmet type product. Besides being able to purchase the oils at farmers markets and other retailers, the farm also has a website. Looking at these oils, you might think there is a very complicated recipe, but there is not. Don't add anything to them, it's as old as time. You know, stories in the Bible of taking oil out of seeds and, and uh, different crops, uh, friction and pressure. The hope for the future on this farm is the brand will continue to grow along with the crops so future generations can enjoy life on these dusty roads in Wilcox County. I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.